last couple days, I was using a uh, more wide-angle lens. I guess it was just a wide-angle lens. I've noticed the camera in my videos, it, it gets wonky. It does this weird, like, mirage look to it. And I don't know if it's the camera since it's, um, or if it's the lens. Now, the, there's nothing wrong with the lens. But, see, I usually don't use this. The lens was made for a uh, full-frame DSLR. And it doesn't fit on this. This The Canon M50 is a mirrorless. So, to put it on, I have to get an adapter. And I don't know if the adapter is, you know, messing up with the quality of the lens i know the lens doesn't usually do that but we're gonna find out it could also just be the camera i'm right now i'm using the lens that came with the camera which gets more dynamic looking shots but it doesn't spread out more i woke up at like six o'clock in the morning i was freezing i had a dream woke me up not really a dream i wanted to have either way now i'm awake and uh i don't feel like going outside right now because i don't it's cold. I'm going to make myself a sandwich. After that, I'm going to wrap up camp. I need to head into town, fill up on gas, and then my dad and my brother are coming up tonight. If my solar panels arrive in time, they're going to bring my solar panel and then my new tent. So we'll get a play with that. They'll be up here tonight, and I want to try to camp. There's a spot down this direction. I tried to go there yesterday. But I ended up just getting lost going in circles. And um, so I came up here. So if I can find the place down there, I want to camp down there. If not, I'm going to try to come back up here, assuming the place isn't blocked off, and we're just going to figure it out from there. But my dad really wants to go fishing, and I wouldn't mind fishing with him. I left my spork outside. <laughs> would appear I had a little visitor last night at the camp. Kind of assumed that I didn't leave any food out per se, but might have licked my dish a bit. Yes, and I was. Okay. It's this place called Adam's and Adam and Eve's Coffee, but like it's more of like a diner. I wasn't sure if I could go in there and you know use their, I guess, place to hang out. <sighs> I know it's not healthy. It just it is on the lower calorie side. Guys, I get inspiration from coffee shops i don't think you understand part of traveling for me if i was not doing this vlog even if i wasn't doing this vlog which i don't understand why i wouldn't be doing this coffee shops are like coffee you know how like superman in case you don't know actually superman gets his power from the sun i mean like i guess his powers come from krypton but like he gets his strength from the sun like they don't always explain it but there's a lot of times they'll show superman like flying into the sky and you'll see him like in the sun and he's just like soaking it all in he like really soaks in that vitamin c or vitamin d or whichever one the sun gives you either way like superman gets his power from the sun i get my power from coffee shops like it's not just coffee the coffee's good but coffee shops are like I, I enjoy the environment. I enjoy hanging out there. I've, I told my parents one time that I wouldn't be able to date somebody if they didn't drink coffee. And they were like, oh, oh, you have no idea. One day you'll understand. No, no, it's a fact. It's not like, this is like not an option for me. Like, I, I understand, like, you know, once you meet someone, like, you're able to, like, you know, cut ties or what. I don't know. 
compromise on things. But no, this isn't like, you know, my favorite TV show. Like, I would be able to date someone who didn't like Star Wars. I would be able to date somebody who wanted me to watch Twilight for some reason. Don't understand why. But that'd be a very, they'd have to be very attractive. I would hang out at, they, they would resent me anyway. They would resent coffee anyway. Like, just because I would be there all the time. Like, if we can't hang out at a coffee shop together, just the relationship is not going to work out. I'll just tell you, like, straight up right now. It's just, I love coffee shops. And there's not any coffee shops in Hachitown that I know of, but we're going to check this place out and see. I'm done with my rant. I need to, like, re-vitamin D sunlight soak into me. Uh. That was, like, the weirdest coffee shop I've ever been to. I liked it, though. Nice people and good customer service. I guess it wasn't really a coffee shop. The reason it was weird is because it was like a barbecue restaurant. You walk in and like it smelled good, but it didn't smell like it. it wasn't like a coffee shop as much as just a barbecue restaurant with coffee. I haven't had I haven't had like coffee shop coffee since I left Durant. I'm kind of half the reason I want to go back to Durant is because that coffee shop was pretty nice. See what I mean? I have to give her a little gas. So it is just a little bit later than uh, the last time we talked. Um, I didn't record any of my adventures flying through the forest. Firstly, because I was going like 40 miles an hour. I might have been pushing her limits a little bit. Definitely pushing mine. Um, the other reason is because my dad and my brother are supposed to be coming down today. And my dad really wants to go fishing. He paid the totally expensive fee to go down here to go fishing. And you can't really fish from this spot. I mean, you might be able to hike down there, but that's about it. And every other spot I've looked for, there's no water by it. Now there's places you can go to pay to camp and you can fish over there, but that's really like established campgrounds. And I hate established campgrounds. Plus you have to pay to get in, but there's just something annoying about camping right next to people. I feel like it kind of defeats the whole purpose of camping. Very annoying, not a fan, but I was trying to find a place that was like by the water out here and there were some people who we ran into while we were hanging out up here because this is the coolest place ever and everybody wants to get down here. Well they told us it's a place you can go camping for free right down by the water if we just you know drive right down the road here, take a right and you know whatever. It was about a 40 minute drive on dirt road. I drove all the way to the end of it and it was disgusting. There was like RVs scattered everywhere. It was like free camping, but more established camping, and it was, it was just trashy and gross. Granted, I probably could have found a place to camp, but I just was not for it. I hated it. I was like, no, I'm putting my foot down here. I don't care that you can go fishing. It was gross. This is the number one place to camp right up here, right on the tip of the mountain peak. I love it out here. Anyway, um, aside from the fact that you have construction workers driving down this road from time to time because they're building a cabin over there, this is the coolest place, and I want to be here. So now I'm here, I haven't eaten all day. It's like five o'clock. I'm waiting for my dad and my brother to come up here. They probably won't be here for another three hours, but for the last uh, few hours, I've just been driving on dirt roads. And I mean, I was flying, it was great. I'm, well, I'm actually not really hungry, but I need to eat. So I'm gonna need to cook some food. <laughs> All this stuff, and I don't know what to cook. Right here. I got this chicken sausage gumbo my dad gave me. Beef stew. I have way too much peanut butter, syrup, honey, and buttermilk pancakes. I might need to cook that. People keep giving me stuff. And as much as I appreciate all the stuff, I don't know where to put half of it. I appreciate all the stuff I receive from people. Um, but I, I've noticed that what I really need is I need to meal plan. What ends up happening a lot, especially when my dad gives me food, is that I get all this food and I already have a lot of food and then I'll end up like not eating it and stuff and then it just becomes storage. I'd want to guess probably one fourth of my storage is food. Not just food supplies, just food. And then I have like another half is food supplies. I could cut my storage space in half if I just got rid of food. I decided what we're gonna eat today. Hungry Jack pancakes. 
I know. We're being really healthy today, you know? Just getting them. I have like two boxes of these because like I said, I already had one and then my dad gave me one. Hungry Jack pancakes are the best though. I don't have any bananas. I wish I did. Every time I buy bananas, I end up not eating them all and they get mushy and fall apart. Um, another reason I don't have bananas is because I know for a fact that if I made banana pancakes, everybody here would be tripping out like, oh my gosh, you're copying Jake. You're doing the exact same thing Jake did. That's exactly what Jake eats. For the record, first of all, I have my whole family to venge for me. I was so excited when I saw another human being eating banana pancakes because you have no idea how many times I'll be like, hey guys, you want some banana pancakes? I grew up in a family of people who strictly ate banana pancakes and I love them. That's like all I knew. If you have regular pancakes are just way too dry compared to banana pancakes. But Jake eats them wrong or he makes them wrong. Like you, what's up with the cinnamon? Putting cinnamon in your stupid banana pancake. What is wrong with you? That's disgusting. This is how you make banana pancakes, okay? First of all, I don't know what's up. I guess he was trying to be healthy or something, like grinding up oats or whatever and tossing it in. I tried to make it like that one time. It's disgusting. You use Hungry Jacks, specifically this. I've tried all the Aunt Jemima, all the buttermilk crud. Or I guess this is buttermilk. But Hungry Jack, you take a banana. The kind of want it to be a little brown and mushy, kind of like when you make banana bread. Put that in the batter, and then you put the water. You chop it up also. You don't. You kind of like mush it up with a fork. You don't like. You don't want it to be like mush. You want it to be kind of like sliced in there. Blend it up. Put it in. Make your pancakes the way you'd make regular pancakes. Peanut butter. If you're not putting peanut butter on top, it's not going to taste right. You're disgusting. Peanut butter doesn't really matter. You can use whatever peanut butter you want. Then. You put syrup on top of it because you don't really care about your health right now. You're eating pancakes. If you cared about your health, you would be eating like egg whites or something. That's how you make banana pancakes. Now you guys got me all worked up about this whole copycat crud. I'm really good friends with one of Jake's like number one supporters. He's also like my number one supporter. And uh, we were talking about him one time and he pointed out to me something about Jake like being into Hispanic chicks. And I told him, great, that's just another thing for people to be like, oh, you're copying Jake. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show up one day and I'm gonna be like, guys, it's my new girlfriend. Her name is like Maria. And people are gonna be like, oh my gosh, you and just like, that's just like Izzy. He, she's Mexican and you have Mexican and blah, 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 blah. I have a better excuse. I'm actually Hispanic. I didn't do the dishes earlier. <laughs> Cause I was being lazy. I really need a second table. Fabricators, where you at? I need like something here and it's gonna like come out here and slide out. Put it on my bumper. I'll have like a double table or I'll just get a pop-up table. This is not enough room to work. I'm a messy person. Da -da 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 -da. La la li la la li la. I use this thing. It's, uh, it's actually like a protein shake thing. And I put my pancake batter in there. Shake it up well enough and it kind of just does all the work for you. Look at that meal fit for a king. Okay, so Hungry Jack makes the best pancake batter. So I figured they've gotta make the best syrup, right? Wrong. It's mediocre at best, but I already opened it, so I might as well use it. Miss Buttersworth, as far as the cheaper syrups, makes the best syrup. The best, best syrup is Log Cabin's All Natural. It's not really all natural, but it's that's better. And if we're talking best, just regular maple syrup. It's got more of like a honey sweet to it. It's not like super rich. It's like, I don't know. It's really good. If you've never had real maple syrup, a lot of people actually end up not liking it. It's not what they expect. It's not as sweet because it's natural sweet, not like real sweet sweet. Either way, I've got my pancakes here. Delicious. Now that my channel's starting to gain traction, I'm getting a lot more comments about questions about the rig. Mostly about the rack, of course, because the rack is awesome. A shout out to uh, Jeff for helping me with that, by the way. In case you don't know, I started a Wednesday Q&A a long time ago. It's been kind of on and off. I have a whole playlist dedicated to it. That way, when people have questions about it, or if they have questions for me, they can watch those Q&As. After a while, I started doing live streams, and I really enjoyed those, but I have had a lot of issues where I would kind of just spontaneously do these live streams, 
and then people would want to watch it, but they would be like, oh, I missed it. I didn't get to do it. So I might do live streams still, just randomly, but I don't think I'm going to do live streams for my Q&A. It ends up being very long and awkward. I want to start doing the Wednesday Q&As again, though. So what I'm going to start doing is I'll get back into that trend, and I'm going to go over a lot of your questions and come back to them. I'm going to go back over my videos, find those questions. I'm going to answer them publicly on a video. You know, I'll make it kind of a thing. So if you have any questions for me now, just keep asking them and I'll feature them in the video. Should be fun. I want to get back into a routine of this on and off kind of basis. I'm going to finish up these pancakes. They are delicious. See that cliff area down there? It's a super, super steep hike. I'm going to try to hike down there and then back up. It's going to be part of my workout today. Mostly just because we looked at this and we were like, ain't nobody getting down there without falling over. And I'm going to do it. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. <laughs> Okay, never mind, don't believe in yourself. It gets even steeper. These rocks aren't safe to climb on or down. And there's big cacti, cactus, or whatever you want to call it. Probably safer for me to head right back on up that way, since I already came all the way down here. Take it back, guys. Don't believe in yourself. It's way too steep. Not exactly the safest thing I could have done. Made it about halfway down and was like, nope. And I'm out of shape, wow. Uh, I have been doing stuff though. I haven't just been eating pancakes and laying around. I've been doing hikes and stuff, getting some push-ups in. I was gonna put in the video, but my camera died when I was down yesterday by the creek where that water was. It was a, out in nature, just different when you're out there. Working out by a creek feels like super, kind of like Karate Kid kind of thing. You're over here, and, you know, Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai never dies. Guys, see if he comes back around. There's a bald eagle right there. No, don't fly away now. Oh my gosh, no, 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 dude, it was, it was right there. Uh, okay, we saw them. We saw them when we were having having the bon La Bonita Hambari. It's right over there. We saw them. There's a really small one, and there's one that's a little bigger. And we were just like, so I'm over here taking a leak, you know, relieving myself, and I just see it right there. It's just like it was like flying by the trees right here, and I was like, no, no, and I'm just watching it, and I like just watched it and I was like I gotta grab my camera and I was like I went to where I thought my camera was and it wasn't there and I was like oh yeah I moved it so I'm, I'm running I grabbed my camera it was too late guys I missed it <sighs> and keep my eye out keep my camera out and I don't have like a super zoom lens if I had if you go watch Jeep's video oh, I never tagged him sorry Jeep I never tagged you but Jeep the guy who was up here with us his name's actually Jeep he uh he filmed his whole video on his phone and it was phenomenal, like his video was great. I, the cinematography, the work he put into it, I mean, you should have seen him out here with his tripod and he's like spinning it and like doing these motions. And I was like, dude, this is gonna, <laughs> I wanted to see how it came out just because of that. Like he, he understands that it's a lot more about creativity than the camera you have. <laughs> I almost killed Falcon. Oops. I got a sick shot though. Okay, so Falcon. You okay, buddy? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so, 
Sorry, buddy. I was just checking your eye. It's a wonky. <laughs> So the camping spot I went to earlier, it's just right over here. I'm gonna see if I can find it. Maybe I can show you guys why I didn't want to go over there. Hopefully I don't get shot at the, out of the sky for spying on these cabins. Oh, I can find, I saw it. It's right there. I don't have the best quality image of it, but you can see all those RVs and stuff. It's just kind of gross, not my thing. Oh, zoom back out, return back to home before I Lose a drone. Last thing I want is to lose Falcon. That's my boy. I see two like hawks flying over there. Or maybe, maybe they're the bald eagles. Wake up to yeah. right now. And in the morning, the sun comes up Dude. on that side. Except for I told like, them. That was, like, I was looking that at was that. That was nice, right? Oh, yeah. I was watching that in my room. Bro. I, I put my parking That's what I told on, Dad. The I'm only issue with this place edge. is you can't get down there to go fishing, but otherwise, like, Dude. the other place was gross. Oh. Yeah. Oh, was that your drone up there? Yeah. It's just drone. That's amazing. Dude, guys, look. This oh, is Trevor, the. Trevor, guess what? I figured out how to do that. What? Wait, where's my sticker? I gave dad like five stickers. I don't know. But, Did um, he even know? Does he even know where they are? Probably not. He has one of his sheep. I got the cod in here. I like five. Man, a ton of stuff fell down when we yeah, were off Yeah, I would just be worried about tearing up this part of the seat. Yeah. Because it's like really clean. Yeah. And then I have a poncho in case it like rained or whatever. Oh, that's what so, my yeah. tent's for. Speaking of which, where is my tent? I don't know. Dad should have it. Dad'd be like, I thought you grabbed it. <laughs> that's exactly what's going to happen. Probably. The battery just forgot. It'd be in a big box. Sweet. But not that big. Let's pull it out. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's big, but it's not like super heavy. Supposedly it'll take us 60 seconds to set up. Let's test oh, it really? Out. Let's test that out. Supposedly. Probably your sway bar, track bar maybe. Yeah. Sway bar is probably okay. Track bar, track bar is something that I can get away with because I have leaf springs. You don't want it to be loose on coil springs in the front. Oh. Do um, you need a knife? I have a knife, but I, I have can... a knife. Ooh, that was cool. Yeah, it was cool. I have two other knives. That was a big bag. I don't, how are you going to fit that on your bag? <laughs> I was like, how big is it? Dad's like, like the size big. of your rack. I, I think that's bigger than your roof rack. I don't Might think be. going down the hill. Dude, I was flying down this road at like 35 miles an hour. <laughs> Dude, I was going down them at like 10. I'm sleeping in here at least one night. I'll sleep, I want to sleep in my room one night. What are you doing? Dude, this is so cool! Well, the only problem with this is snakes and still get in here. Ah, it's fine. I mean, snakes can probably still get in regular tents too. That's want. why you put the tarp on the bottom. This isn't, this isn't to sleep in. This is Trevor. to like, it's raining outside. And Trevor, this is why you put a tarp on the bottom. Now, now, you, just, need, now you need the, um, the, the sitting chair that has a table. I just need a... Oh yeah, I brought fold out chairs, but I totally forgot it. Before I end this video, I need to say a huge thank you to two new Patreon pledges. Firstly, Robert Hutchison. And secondly, Carlos. Just Carlos. I like that name. Carlos, I haven't got a chance to get back to you. I have like no reception out here. I will send you a personal thank you as soon as I get the chance. Usually when people become new Patreon pledges, they'll send me a personal message. Um, I haven't got a look yet because I, I got the notification when I was out here driving and there's like no reception out here. Like right now I have two bars and that's it, like no LT. 
Sorry about that. <laughs> I've been uh, having an issue lately. Well, my channel's growing. Um, I have, you know, I'll get a video up every day if I can. And then, you know, people send me messages and I don't really get a look at them until I get to like a coffee shop or something. And then, you know, I'm trying to catch up. It's like a job, you know? <laughs> um, in case you guys don't know, um, I, I send this on Patreon a lot, but if you are a Patreon pledge, on Patreon, send me a message of your Instagram. If I'm not following you on Instagram, I want to follow all my Patreon on Instagram. So send me a message on Patreon what your Instagram is. And then also, the, the other reason is so I know who you are so I can add you to my friend story. So on Instagram, there's like this thing you can add personal friends. Um, so I do stories actually, just random stuff that's going on. Um, I also send updates to my Patreon, so they always are in the know if something's going on, if I'm behind on videos, if something happened. I always update my Patreon on that kind of stuff. I've been a little behind on it recently. Not having reception makes it harder for me to post on Patreon, but I try to send them like little exclusive content. If I like was hiking and I saw a deer or something and I don't record it on my video, sometimes I'll just show my Patreon. It's kind of a thing I do. So if you are a Patreon pledge and you are not on that private Instagram story, please let me know. I will add you to that. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for becoming new Patreon pledges. And I hope to meet you guys soon. I had a great time at the La Bonita Hambri. And I want to, you know, do more of those. So I'm going to go to bed, though. There's raccoons that are, like, going to come attack us if we don't head out. Excited about tomorrow. I'm going to take a look to see what my brother did. He's really doing that budget overland challenge over here. It's a stock Jeep, stock Jeep Cherokee with um, upgraded tires. That's it. Aside from that, he folded some seat down. He got a cot in the back of there. It's a talking budget build right there, guys.